Many argue that art cannot be defined, but art is often considered the process or product of deliberately arranging elements in a way that appeals to the senses or emotions. It encompasses a diverse range of human activities, creations and ways of expression, including music, literature, film, sculpture and paintings. Art is a diverse range of expressing the author's imaginative conceptual ideas or technical skill intended to be appreciated for their beauty or emotional power. Some different types of art are animation, architecture, assemblage, calligraphy, ceramics, computer, conceptual artistic design, drawing, folk, graffiti, graphic, illuminated manuscript, illustration, mosaic, painting, performance, photography, sculpture, stained glass, tapestry, and video. Now, today's episode is a very, very special one. As you can see with me is an 11-year-old boy. His name is Waris Olamileko Karim. And Waris is the youngest hyperrealism artist in Nigeria and Africa as the whole. Oh, my God. We'll go on a quick break. And when we do come back, we'll be talking more about Waris. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so now we're sitting down. Where is I was so excited to see you when we met. Okay, so Waris, tell me about yourself. Um, my name is Kai Maris Alam Likon and also Spot Art. Um, I'm the youngest hyperrealism artist in Nigeria and Africa. Um, I'm 13, um, 12 years old now. Okay, so how did you start drawing? I've been drawing since when I was still in primary school. Before I joined Ayoli Academy of Arts when I was like eight, nine years old. So that was when I've been drawing. I actually draw like, um, I used to draw Sports Striker comics, you know, what kids used to draw. Before I joined Ayoli, um, it was my boss, sister that saw me and she said, This boy can draw. So she introduced me to um, the Ayolis. So I joined the Academy of Arts. Okay, so um, when you started, how did your family take it? My mom is Shalem. She used to see me drawing and she liked it. But um, my dad too, um, but he did not know what I'm drawing or because he's not always around to go for work. But my mom said that she joined the Iole Academy of Arts. How did you manage going to school and drawing at the same time, knowing that you get busy when you have some certain projects? When I was too close to the studio, I actually go, um, I used to go from Monday to Saturday. No, I go to school from the morning to four o'clock. So I joined the Iwale uh, from four to seven o'clock. One well, Saturday is from morning to night. So, but now that I'm far from them, I shall go on only on um, Saturday. Saturday. Yes, from Monday from morning to night. But now that there is holiday, um, I go I go every day. What inspired you to draw the president? Before I knew that it was a president, um, my boss first gave me the picture for so he said I should draw it. But why would I go there? told me that he's the president I was going to do. So I was very excited and scared also. <laughs> but when I drew it finished, he told me that um, it was um, Echo Bank that gave us the picture to draw the president. So super excited. I'm very excited. How did you feel when you met the president of France? It was my privilege to meet the um, president of France. Even the president of Nigeria, I've never even seen him. But president of France and the Lagos State Governor, I'm very, very happy. So ever since you drew the president of France, how has it been for you? People have been acknowledging. Tell us about that. 
um, it has changed my life a lot because on the internet now, um, I'm a small celebrity. <laughs> yeah, because I was going through your page and I saw you had thousands of followers. Amazing. Yes, it has changed my life a lot. Even it has brought me to the Lagos State Governor. It's even the one that gave us this house. Even I'm, I'm even the Echo Bank um, ambassador, yes. Yeah, I, you're the youngest Echo Bank brand ambassador. Amazing. I know that you're, you're a very good artist, but um, are there other artists that you look up to, like senior people that you would want to be like? Yes, of course. Like um, Aaron Z. Stalin, he's an hyperrealism artist, pencil, hyperrealism artist. I look up to him and some other big, big artists also. Um, especially Michelangelo and um, Leonardo da Vinci. So all those one are big, big artists, but well, they are gone. Um, but I look up, the um, person I look up most is Stalin Arenze. That's the person I look up most. So where does Wari see himself in five years? I want to see all my works in a big, big museum, exhibition, exhibition yes. Even this year, we're gonna um, want to shoot an exhibition, but I don't think it's Nigeria. Oh my God! You want to have your own exhibition, but you don't want to have it in Nigeria. Amazing! People are watching you right now, and as the youngest hyperrealism artist in Nigeria and Africa, what would you say to one young child watching right now? Um, the only thing I'm going to tell them is that. They should be patient and, and look up to their future and they should not relent, hard working. That's the only word I'm going to tell them. Now the 11 year old boy did not just fall down from heaven as he has parents. Now on this segment we are going to be talking to Warris's mother. Now Warris's mother is going to tell us about her son. All the things we do not know about her, her son she is going to tell us. So we'll go on a quick break and when we come back Warris's mother tells us the story of her son. So, President France, so by any you know to work with Kuma Sharon Corrine. So what they are France, you want to be a home or you almost didn't come 11 years, so yeah, you know, but we so at buying them not to work, shaking Latin, Latin for speak Kuma Shi at the scene. But all your events were this because why are France college should give to from President. So what they are France, yeah, we don't like a own share, so time we are in our governor, on for a needle. A room like Bitele, but often I need two bedroom flats. You know, since the estate governor but the dead, so so Ile Bella and Ben since two bedroom flats lower. So at Bayan, we go on your team. Below she she, tomorrow interview we. Two of my invites are lost. But it by what to be five times. But it like by what you need a picture at the corner. You need a rock. Wow. 
Oh my God, this is the fortune that this 11 year old boy has brought his family just because he started painting on the streets. Amazing. Mommy, thank you so much for having this segment with me. We'll go on a quick break and when we come back, we'll be seeing some of Waris's painting. If possible, Waris is going to be painting me today on the streets. We'll go on a quick break and when we come back, it is still on the streets. Okay, welcome back. It is still on the streets. Now, we have finally got into the studio where Waris does a lot of his painting. Now, standing with me is one of the co-founder of the Ayoli Academy of Arts, Mr. Ayor. Hello. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, before we go in upstairs to the studio, as okay. one of the co-founder of this academy, tell us about the academy. Okay, um, the academy was created by me and my partner, Ayodeji Alarijare and Adini Adiwoli. So it started um, like around five years ago. So, and Karim actually joined the academy a year after the academy was created. And ever since then, we have been doing fine and all that. So, and after the breakthrough of one of the students, which is Karim Waris, the, uh, the academy has been in a very good condition. Unlike where we were staying before, we are actually using um, where our mom rents shop to sell things. So we are using the beside of our shop, just in front of the compound. So it's a very um, open space whereby the, the kids are not even in good condition. When the time is raining, even in the sun, so it's always on them. So so ever since the breakthrough, the, it has already affected the academy in a very positive way. So right now we are in a good condition whereby we have air condition, we have where everything is comfortable for. So even the students can sit on chair and they are always balanced with their work. Currently, how many students do you have at the academy? We have about like 18 of them now, but we have 15 that are still consistent that are doing very well. Now we're going to go upstairs to see some of Boris's painting. Oh my god, I just got a portrait from Worries. Like, I was drawn right now. This is amazing, Worries. This is amazing. How long did it take us to draw this? This is about um, um, like um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So, what kind of drawing is this? This one is a live portrait. A live portrait. Yes. Yes. Um, so, now that we're in the studio, like I said, you are going to show me some of the things that you have worked on. Okay, so can we go see them now? So. This one is a contest. I touch the contest. Why did you decide to paint a contest? You no, know, this they are fighting. You know, contest means challenge. People challenge yourself. And this is you. Yes. And the the idea of this picture, like you said, is you're challenging yourself to be better yes. in life and do better. So, um, any other of your works you want to show me? Daily bread. bread. Daily bread too. Yes. Why did you title it daily bread? And you see, this is bread, and um, no doubt, and this man is drawing the bread and is sweating, and the sweating symbolizes hard work and struggle, and you know, no pain, no gain. So, so um, our parents nowadays they struggle for us, for we eat, and the food is symbolizing food, and the bread is symbolizing food. Yes. But I got inspiration for my family. Before now, things were difficult for you. And mommy had to struggle and parents had to struggle for you to eat. So what kind of, um, is this the same 
in Madrid, same paper, and this is charcoal. Now, this sweat, how did you get this effect? Um, water. Water? Yes. This is amazing. Any other of your works around here? This is the one. Okay, that is daily bread too. This is daily bread. Yes. Um, this one is, is different from this one. This one is also like our parents struggle for we eat. This one is um, no pain, no gain. Why this one is um, our parents also. So struggle with the sweats and the sweats. So the spoon to symbolize food. So that's why I use spoon. Okay. Now, um, why we're still talking about your art? Are there, is there a project you're currently working on now? Um, I was working on this one, but I'm sure it's it already. Okay. It's amazing. It's mind-blowing. You know, when I got into the studio, the, the co-founder of the Ayowale um, Academic of Arts told me that this is a six-year-old boy. Hello, darling. What's your name? Sulaimon Farouk. Sulaimon. And Sulaimon, how long have you been doing this? Last week. Last week. Wow. This is amazing. There is so much talent in this place and a very big congratulations to the Ayowale Academic of Arts who have taken the children off the streets and harnessing their talents and you know these people who knows they might be the next biggest artists in future and they are here doing this now the Ayowale um, Academy of Arts are calling on corporate organizations to you know sponsor these kids in you know harnessing their talents they need paper the painting utensils and all of that it's been an amazing time today on the street with so much inspiration today i've been inspired i really was wondering what i was doing when i was six or when i was 11 years old and it is amazing and i'm sure that you've learned one or two things today on today's special episode of on the streets till i see you again next time remember to keep making your world a better place than you met it